Hi guys! So today we're painting a glass window in one of the cafes in London. It's going to be a quick and on point video. So this is the final result and this is the window before the actual painting. Since it was a commissioned project, I discussed the design with the client previously. I also made a series of sketches explaining the artwork. I've used different thicknesses of the brushes, but also I used one brush per one color that I was painting. In terms of the paint, I used this Pebel uh, glass paint and I actually had a set of 12. Firstly, I painted outlines of the entire artwork to see the actual scale and positioning on the glass. And then I filled up the entire artwork with white paint. It's important to know that with the glass paint, you will need a lot of layers of paint. Glass paint is actually designed to be half transparent. So if you want to have a solid bright color, you would need to apply a lot of layers of different colors and different shades. Just on the side, painting um, glass windows or murals is actually very fun and you do have a lot of people um, approaching you and you know complimenting your artwork so you know it is very fun so don't be shy and just go out there and do whatever you want to do. So this is how the white base would look like and then you start placing the color in. Beware that if you're applying thin layers of paint, which you should do, um, the paint will dry up very quickly. So make sure you constantly mix the colors and always close the tubes with the paint. What's very good about painting glass is the fact that you can create a lot of textures and kind of dimensions of paint. In my case, for example, I'm creating paintings of different desserts and coffee drinks. So my job as an artist is not only to paint and leave the artwork out there, but also to create a beautiful, engaging and beneficial for the client's business piece. Like here, creating a caramel-like visuals. So this is about halfway through the process. Now, all about your equipment. Make sure you do bring tape, preferably masking tape, on site if you do have straight lines in your design, in your project. Like here, I had a painting of a building, so I wanted to have a perfectly straight line and we know that it's not always possible when you do paint um, by hand. Just on a side note, you do want to have a nice weather when you do painting outside. I've been blessed with having no rain on that day, so I could finish my work on time. As you can see, all my brushes are of a different thickness. It really helps when you want to cover one space with one color or it helps to have a small brushes when you want to create um, you know small details and make the work more sophisticated now details do count so don't get the wrong impression of having a big artwork and not putting any details in because the details actually do make a big difference like here client did want um, more of a funky and illustration like artwork but it was very important to put detailing to create shading on the piece. And the job is done. So to sum up, we did mention the types of equipment that you would need to um, have on site with you. So that would be different thicknesses, different types of brushes, tapes, carpal, um, measuring tape, uh, paints itself, obviously. Um, perhaps some sort of white pencil to do the outlines of the drawing and most importantly confidence in yourself also something that I did not mention at the beginning is the fact that you want the window the glass window to be clean um, before you start painting my client was kind enough to clean the window um, for me before I actually started the work. Um, but often you do want to wipe it out yourself to make sure um, there is no dirt pieces left. Otherwise, the paint will come off. And finally, be excited, be bold and always put your client's interest at first. 
you know, to be an artist is not only to paint, but also to do a big preparation before the work and to make sure the client is happy afterwards. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, you can email me, you can follow me. And um, I hope you're going to like the video. If you have any questions, comment and subscribe.